Of homes and lives were damaged when the storms hit the town of Alto just last weekend. In places of worship, they were not immune to that devastation. KHK's Mai Owens tells us how one church's faith is lasting through the storm. Inside the Booker T. Washington Community Center, singing and praise could be heard from outside. I just thought praying and asking God to give us strength to go through this determination to do what we have to do. Larry Jenkins and many others who normally would be at St. Thomas AME Church this morning aren't after tornadoes in Alto destroyed their church home. It was surprising to see the building that I had become so familiar with, to see it in a different state. This is all that's left of St. Thomas, but even though their church home is destroyed, they say this structure isn't what makes the church. Our church is us. The church is in us. It's not the building. The building is just for us to come together and be as one. As a church, many found donations and treats on Easter Sunday. After hearing a sermon entitled, The Ultimate Comeback, a slogan representing all who were affected by this devastating storm. Again, I continue to be encouraged by how God is bringing us together in spite of the tragedies and the adversities we face. So again, we know that comeback is upon us. For St. Thomas AME Church in the entire town of Alto, my Owens, KETK News. And a note to that story, St. Thomas AME Church will continue to have Sunday service at the Booker T. Washington Center until repairs have been made to that church. To find out how you can donate, go online to our website, EastTexasMatters.com.